Hello, I'm Bob Solhaney with the DME Company, Mechanical Engineering Department. Today I'd like to speak to you on a broad range of applications and tooling that we have at DME for solutions for molding undercuts. For over 45 years, DME has provided solutions for molding undercuts and threads, whether internal or external, snap features, cutouts, protrusions, grooves, etc. And if you find yourself that uh, for many years unscrewing has been a problem, or lifters, or high maintenance, high wear items are an issue for you, I would uh, ask that you consider DME's broad product line for tooling for undercuts. What we've seen recently is the market accelerates towards the elimination of secondary processes. There are more cost effective ways to accommodate undercuts. And again, whether they're internal or external, grooves or protrusions or cutouts, dimples, snap retention features, DME has a solution for you. One of the solutions that we've had for over 45 years now, with tens of thousands of applications in the field worldwide, some of the tooling as large as 96 cavities, are collapsible cores, or what we now call the RT series. 14 different sizes and a range from around 5 8 diameter up to over 4 inches in diameter. And these have a 12 segment design developed back in 1968 and it is still the same design today and we know that it can run millions of cycles, upwards of 5 million before you see appreciable wear. Next we have the dovetail collapsible core and I'll talk about each one of these in a minute. The dovetail collapsible core came out in 2009 it is a six segment dovetail design that offers certain design solutions and parameters above and beyond the RT series core. And then we have the mini core that came out back in the 1980s and it is a three segment design good for small little parts where an interrupted snap or groove or thread is allowable with your part. Later we'll talk about expandable cavity systems which are really just the opposite of collapsible cores. Instead of collapsing, they expand, and they're good for external snaps and features and lettering, cutouts, dimples, what have you, that would be on the outside of a part. Great for eliminating slides. Next, unilifters, a simple bladed undercut system, as otherwise known in the, in the industry as a lifter. And next would be the vector form lifter system which is a step beyond the original unilifter in that it provides a guiding core to take bending stresses away from the lifter core. And lastly, we'll talk about the hydraulic unscrewing device for internal threads when using an unscrewing mechanism. First of all, again, the RT series, the collapsible core. The original one developed in 1968, still the same design today, 14 different sizes. It's wonderful and has a longevity we know of upwards of 5 million cycles before you see appreciable wear. Good for internal continuous or interrupted threads or undercuts. And we have also have a myriad of products on the table today for your display that have been molded on the collapsible core. Anywhere from military to automotive to consumer to packaging, the collapsible core has been in those fields tried and true. You see that in an overview we've had since 1968, the original core, the mini core in 88, and again the dovetail came out in 2009. A wonderful progression of technology with DME again having thousands of applications in the field. Many times I get asked, well, what are some of the primary core markets that all the collapsible cores have serviced? I just mentioned a few, but more would be in your packaging caps and closures, such as consumer and usable products, recreational products, uh, medical caps and fittings, many medical applications. Plumbing is a great one with all the different plumbing fittings in the world. Irrigation products for out there in the field for farming. Electrical connectors and fittings, which are also a very broad arena of connectors. Automotive, under the hood, uh, within the interior. Military and defense. And uh, many of you, you may have seen uh, when you're flying an airplane and you have the little air vent above you that you can open and close, that little dome was also molded on the collapsible core.
Next, in 2009, we came out with the dovetail collapsible core that we call the undercut molding champion. And why is because it's very simplistic. It has a smaller footprint. The mold base stack up is less than its sister RT series core that we previously discussed. The dovetail core can also be front loaded from parting line so that if you had to change out cavity and core very quickly from say a 24 to a 28 millimeter cap, you would be able to do so with the dovetail quick lock change feature from parting line. Also 12 segments that move in laterally uh, in a dovetail configuration and that allows you to put dovetails face to face to one another to shut off such as in plumbing applications or other electrical fittings where the arterial series core cannot do that because the segments are arcing from a point back on the diameter. Some other design advantages that you see are solid shutoffs, O-ring grooves, retention features for liners, and I'll talk about that for a second. We can also offer what's called a pancake design, which is a little piece of steel that's on top of the segments that can form a retention seal up in the top liner of a cap. So some people glue in poly seals into the top of the cap, and others will use a molded annular ring as the seal in the top of the cap that fits on the inside of the bottle. This can now be molded with a collapsible core with an added pancake feature when utilizing the dovetail series. You can also do slots or through holes, uh, what is typically called TE or tamper evident uh, serrations are now possible with a dovetail. Strong reliable snap fit designs, typically in threads and snap fits, uh, designers will cheat a little bit and they're not quite as heavy in the thread depth or undercut depth and they may need a little more draft angle. With the dovetail core, because of the lateral move, the dovetail core can allow for deeper threads, deeper snap retention features. And F, as you see on the slide, threads are only where you need them, allowing for better steel conditions. When comparing to unscrewing, typically a thread has to be run out to a knife edge. This creates a thin piece of steel that is often susceptible to chipping or other damage. With the dovetail collapsible core, you can blunt this thread right off and not worry about any chipping uh, or external damage from handling. And lastly, thinner wall sections are possible because the anti-rotation feature is not needed that you have with the unscrewing mechanism. Now let's talk about the expandable cavity. Again, the expandable cavity is really the opposite of a collapsible core. And this molds external features on parts. Again, external threads or undercuts, protrusions, dimples, perhaps lettering, or some cosmetic feature on your part that would normally be formed by slides. So by eliminating the slides, we get rid of all the high maintenance items, all the wear items, the mold base becomes smaller, and thus your total footprint is smaller, and thus you can use a smaller molding machine, saving you money all the way around from the mold base to the molding machine. Typical parts that have been molded with the expandable cavity include many of the similar ones that were done with the collapsible core, such as bottle caps and plumbing supplies, snap o-ring features, automotive parts, medical parts and packaging, hose couplings, which I'm sure many of us have used, industrial fittings and flanges and valves, electrical fixtures, and again, cosmetic packaging. Now it brings us to the unilifter system. This is typically what's known in the field as a lifter. It's a single blade lifter 
that can do angles typically up to 15 degrees. Beyond that, you start to encounter some bending loads on the lifting core itself. But the Unilifter is a great, smooth and simple, efficient operation for when you just have a single undercut and you want to release that. As the mold opens, the Unilifter moves away from the undercut, releasing it, allowing it to be ejected out of the mold. Typical application, as you see, is we have a U-coupling mounted to a T-gib in the ejector assembly, and the U-coupling allows the movement or radial travel of the lifter blade itself that's forming the undercut. Next, which is, takes us to a, a broader system of lifters, is the vector form. The vector form is a dual rod actuation. We have the lifter core itself, as you see here in yellow on the slide, and in green is the, is the guide core. And that guide core is what helps eliminate the stresses that are on the lifter core. Thus, when we have a single lifter, many times you experience breakage from too heavy of a load. The guiding core, in, as you see in the green, totally eliminates those bending stresses. And you can have angles up to 30 degrees, no problem whatsoever. And at half the stroke. Here we see the operating sequence is very typical and straightforward. No machining anything on an angle, no compound angles. Everything is pocketed straight, milled straight. And you have the lifter uh, core moving up away at an angle as the ejector assembly moves straight up. We also can do advanced applications with the vector form. This is another added benefit. We can gang these vector form lifter core blades side by side to do multiple lifters all at once and still provide guiding cores with them. Or you can utilize the, the lifter blades to move one big large block, one large lifter up all at once, as you see within the drawing. Hydraulic unscrewing device is a system that has been utilized for decades and decades for continuous threads. DME offers the rack and the cylinder and a very well thought out design guide as well as an application example that you can look at to know how to do the calculations. And in the design guide you can do the calculations longhand or you can go to the charts that we've provided and utilize those. Those are available, like all of our other design guides, available off of the DME website at www.dme.net. Hydraulic unscrewing device where we provide the rack and the cylinder for movement of the gearing, which then moves the unscrewing cores to come out of your th continuous thread part. The unscrewing ge core gears, as well as the gearing itself, is all designed and developed by the customer. Again, we provide you with just the cylinder and the rack. But a wonderful design, many people still use it today. Uh, this has been around since the 1940s and uh, is utilized by people that are comfortable with this as opposed to alternatives. This gives you a description of what we do provide. The cylinder, a SAE or a standard automotive engineering rack design, the cam riser, which is an angle plate for bumping the stripper plate, should you desire to use that. Guideways and alignment and flange plates, all mounting plates. Again, DME has been at this for over 45 years. And you can see that we offer these design guides for the vector form, the collapsible cores, and the hydraulic unscrewing device, all available in PDF uh, download from our website. Please consider DME and our engineering department that can provide you with the expertise of the designs 
of tens of thousands and decades worth of experience and give us a call today. Again, to review internal threads and undercuts, you can utilize collapsible cores, RT series or dovetail or mini core. For expandable cavities, for external threads and undercuts, or you may want to utilize the hydraulic unscrewing device for internal threads. And then when you just have a singular undercut, you could utilize the unilifter or the vector form. Any questions, please send us an email or give us a call, and we'd be glad to help you every step of the way. Thank you.